place at the end of the night. But before Sunday Night Football, the best of Week 9. Philadelphia at the Giants. Eli Manning, four touchdowns on the day. Two of them went to Odell Beckham. You see this play every time they get down in the red zone. Just a quick slam. Giants have won three in a row. Jets in Miami. They had a, a kickoff. They were offside, so they had to kick again, and Kenyon Drake makes them pay. Green kick got him. Very tired coverage unit. Couldn't contain them. Yeah, I played a whole special team. <laughs> you don't want to go twice. This. Dolphins have won three in a row. Detroit and Minnesota went into overtime, and Matthew Stafford Golden Tate for the game winner. Yeah, at least make the tackle. You have the two best defensive backs. You have to be able to make that play. Three straight losses for the Vikings after a 5-0 start. Colts in Green Bay, Andrew Luck to Dante Moncrief. There's some luck outplayed Aaron Rodgers today. That is the difference. Packers have dropped three of their last four. Tennessee at San Diego, the Chargers defense making the big plays. When it mattered most, Brandon Flowers with a pick six. Also had a uh, fumble return touchdown for that San Diego defense. San Diego matches their win total from last season, four. New Orleans and San Francisco, Drew Brees, two touchdowns to the rookie out of Ohio State, Michael Thomas. Yeah, I tell you, they got a lot of young weapons. They just sling the ball all over there. They're making plays this entire season. Saints have won four of five. Carolina in Los Angeles. Panthers held on for their second straight win. Thomas Davis with the interception on Case Keenum. Rams have dropped four in a row after that three and one start. It's time to make a quarterback change. <laughs> Jeff Fisher. <laughs> Dallas at Cleveland. Dak Prescott, three touchdowns, no turnovers. And the winless Browns will play the Ravens on Thursday night. No quarterback change needed in Dallas. <laughs> Pittsburgh at Baltimore. Joe Flacco to the former Steeler Mike Wallace. 95 yards as the Ravens snap a four-game losing streak. You said the former still, correct? Yes, yes. they should know that he's fast. They say this in practice, no doubt. John Harbaugh. Starts the best sounds of week nine. I had an official down the side at the end of the game, so it's the first time you see me smile in, in a couple of years. <laughs> well, the officials, you know, we haven't had any, we've had a little rocky relationship. <laughs> Was I happy we had the ball on the what, 12 yard line? No, I'm not happy we had the ball on the 12 yard line. Were they complete or incomplete? They're all in. Well, then I'm not happy. My love for Fitz and and how I feel about Fitz is not going to change. It hasn't changed. I cannot see his jacket now. Was it good? Really? Is it good as in bad or good as in good? I appreciate you guys like it. The guys in the locker room when I first got here tried to give me a little crap. I loved it. Let's capitalize it. Now you put a cherry on top. That's what he did. It's always good to beat your division rivals, but what does it mean if we drop it Thursday? It means. All righty then. All righty, Mr. Dixon.